the player whose highlights you called the most was Vincent Lamar yes. Carter. To call him at his apex, what was that like? Well, every night was a highlight. I mean, it was unbelievable. And Vince Carter was abusing players with unbelievable slam dunks every night. And I'm talking every night. I'm talking windmills. I'm talking two-handed tomahawk slams. I'm talking 360s. It was crazy. And Vincent Lamar Carter was, uh, in my opinion, the greatest Raptor of all time. All right, all right. Um, he came back uh, famously and was, was <laughs> routinely booed. What was that like for you to call him in an opposing jersey? It was one of the most bizarre episodes of my professional life and a chapter in a book that is ingrained in my mind regarding Vince Carter in a Nets uniform. Here we had a celebrated player traded by the Raptors, but Vince Carter then came back and the crowd here at the Air Canada Center was one of uh, not only built up anger, disappointment, but also they saw him now in a different uniform, which was unheard of. Your belief on how the fans should feel about this? I think the fans have to turn the page. I think they should look at the positive things that Vince did. I mean, it's, it's been a long time since Vince Carter wore a Toronto uniform. Let's be quite candid about this. The impact he made in Toronto was and remains indelible to what we're talking about. You mentioned jerseys being retired. This is a building full of hockey history. Yes. Uh, but it's become a, a basketball town. When did you see the switch of basketball being at the forefront here in Toronto? The arrival of Vince Carter, the maturation of Tracy McGrady, um, you know, making the playoffs, even though the Raptors got swept in 2000, uh, three nothing by the Knicks, uh, you saw the growth and you saw the development. And then of course, the following season, when the Raptors beat the Knicks game five of the Garden in New York, and then took on Allen Iverson and the Philadelphia 76ers in what, in my opinion, was one of the greatest playoff series in the history, in the history of the NBA. And that's when I think this franchise turned the corner. Uh, you know, the famous Hall of Famer, Michael Jordan, who you obviously had the pleasure to call his games, and now you live in his city. Yes. Well, I mean, I was in Chicago when he was drafted in 84. I came to the Raptors in 98. But I remember when Jordan was in a Wizards uniform, as strange as that may seem, but when he came into the Air Canada Center and took on Vince Carter, here's a North Carolina, two legends, but Michael Jordan and Vince Carter guarding one another. It was like a clone of the two greatest dunkers in the history of the NBA, all due respect to Julia Serving. I mean, it was, it was to me, one of the terrific moments that the Air Canada Center has seen Vince Carter and Michael Jordan 